Welcome back, Lakeland Sports, and a visit with sophomore defenseman Dan Billet and a chance to uh, to get to know Dan a little bit more. We didn't get a chance to talk to him one-on-one uh, -on -one last year. Uh, Dan, thanks for, for stopping by, first off. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. So Highlands Ranch, Colorado, how did you get from there to Bemidji State? Well, uh, after, after high school, I ended up playing junior hockey in Aberdeen. I was actually recruited by Travis uh, Winter when he was a coach there. Mm -hmm. So I played a year there, and then he left. And came, he came here. So I went back to Aberdeen for my second year, and it was during that season that I was talking to, uh, to Winter and Saratory a lot, and that's when I committed was my, my second year of juniors. Outstanding. Uh, so your, your high school career mostly in Colorado too, is that? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I played all growing up in Colorado, and then my sophomore year of high school, I went away to uh, a military school, a prep school called uh, Culver Military Academy. And that's in uh, Culver, Indiana. So I spent three years there, and that's where they first saw me. Give us an idea what uh, and how big I mean, hockey is in Colorado. It must be, you know, grown since uh, the Avalanche uh, got oh, there in the in the nineties. It's really taken off. Um, I know they got there in the nineties, and it really caught like caught wind. And uh, I moved to Colorado in two thousand one, and that was actually the year that the Avs won the Stanley Cup. So I was watching that happen, and I told my parents then, I was like, I want to play hockey. So yeah. <laughs> that's when it really caught on for me. Sure. And uh, a lot of kids my age in Colorado and just a little bit older, that's when they really started playing too. So it's really taken off, and it's starting to become a hockey powerhouse. Avs fan? Oh, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, right now. Well, but yeah, yeah. Nobody wins forever. Nobody loses forever, too. That's true. <laughs> so, they'll, they'll figure it out. They're worst in the league right now, but they'll figure it out. Well, talking about figuring it out, too, you came in, uh, started as a freshman defenseman here at Bemidji State, and, uh, boy, you guys are all coming up to, together here, and, and something uh, that obviously has clicked very early in this season, uh, number one defensive team uh, in the league and the nation, mostly. Yeah, um, I mean, last year, we, we obviously, we had a really young decor, and uh, we learned a lot, and we grew a lot, and uh, this year, our freshmen that have stepped in have been outstanding, and... Uh, all of us sophomores have have just kept growing, and um, I don't I don't know what it is, but we're really clicking and we're working well together. And uh, you know, Bitzer's playing great behind us, and I think that's a big help. But uh, we need to keep it up. We're we're playing really well as a group. You guys, change your style at all? Uh, more puck possession or anything like that defensively this year? Um, the only thing I can think of is we're trying to get involved more offensively as a defensive core. But besides that, it's the same principles in the D zone: just work ethic and uh, and details and. We're, uh, we're just doing everything right right now, and we need to keep it going. Excellent. Well, yeah, and keep it going. Uh, thanks for this, uh, Dan. Uh, good, to, good to get to know you a little bit more, too, and uh, all the best. Oh, thank you very much. All right, Dan Bell, sophomore defenseman here. Bemidji State, be back in just a moment with more on Lincoln Sports.